All right, y'all. You already know it's your boy. <laughs> we got another episode. Race take. Time to get to it. You know, you know what? Before we even start, though, check it. How freaking dope is this jacket? Look at that jacket. Look at that jacket. Damn, I want you to kind of stand up. Don't worry about it. Ah, look at that jacket. Did y'all see it? Try and freeze frame it when I jump again, and then you can catch it because right now I have my camera set up. You can't really see all of it, so I'm going to do it again because watch this. Oh. Now, now, check the back out. Check the back out, though. See what I say? Catch up. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a track and field jacket right here, baby. This is a track and field jacket. And if you don't have this jacket, it's because the dude that gave me this jacket, he said he like, you know what? I know exactly who need that jacket. Ray. He was like, Ray, check this jacket out. See if you like it. Do I like it? I don't even know who they are on the jacket. I don't even think they're real, but I like it. Bring it to me. Yes. I don't know why I'm always yelling, why I always got so much just, just energy. I don't know, because it's track and fit, I guess. I'm always excited. But anyway, all right, so check it. <sighs> this episode, y'all got to bear with me, because I might have to do a part one and a part two for this one, because there's a lot of information that we're finna go over. A lot of information we're about to go over about, yes, PEDs in our sport. They are real, people. When I say real, they are real without a shadow of a doubt. What I'm about to do is, <laughs> I'm about to show you this video. And if you've not seen it, you should just go YouTube it, watch it, learn a little something about how this stuff works that's called PEDs. I'm going to let Mr. Conte talk, and then I'm going to come back. field today, what percentage of the elite athletes today do you believe are using illegal performance-enhancing drugs? I would say that it's definitely less now than it was pre balco uh, if, if before it was 80%, it might be 50 to 60% now, so I think there's a significant reduction, but it's still a majority. How easy is it for an Olympian to use illegal performance-enhancing drugs and not get caught? Uh, relatively easy. How so? The major loophole is with the missed tests. And the way it is now, you can get two missed tests the third one is considered the same as a positive test and you'll receive a, a suspension or be banned. They do not disclose this information. We know that in the neighborhood of 8 to 10 percent of the tests when they go to uh, collect the samples and the athlete's not there, that they're issuing missed tests, but you don't know that athlete A or athlete B has a missed test. So here's basically what they could possibly do. In the year possibly. leading up to possibly. the... Olympic Games, and you're a world-class sprinter, and uh, you take a risk and you say, well, listen, I'll, on my whereabouts form, I'll say I'm going to City X and I'll go to City Y. If they show up, the consequence is you get a missed test. I've calculated that roughly, in my opinion, the odds are about 25 to 1 that they won't come during that couple of week period that you're, you're ducking and dodging and you're using steroids and other performance enhancing drugs. Now I understand some of these orals and clear in a few days and some of the creams clear in a day, but you could use stuff that may clear in a week or two weeks and go hide and do this. Well, now you've got a cycle under your belt and hey, you, likely the odds 25 to one that you didn't even get a missed test. So you can continue to do this hmm. until they show up cool. and then you get a missed test. Well, this is not disclosed, no one knows this. So the advantage is you got a cycle or two under your belt before you get a missed test. But then they'll give you time to, they'll send you a notification, you missed the test, we'll give you a hearing in 30 days, you can show up and give us some you know, reasonable explanation. Will the tester come back if they miss you they one day, will they come do, back no, the next No, they day? typically do not. So you go and you do it again. And you go out and... We're gonna stop it right there. That's far enough, that's far enough. Okay, in case you don't know who this is, this is Victor Conte. Balco, look it up. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm not going to get into explaining much about who he is. But what I will say is, he is one kajillion, fulfillion, papillion, one kajillion, katillion, katrillion percent correct. That's exactly what they do. What, well, let me say it right. That's exactly what USADA does, all right? That is how they test us, okay? If you're in the testing pool, right? And in order to be in a testing pool, you have to be in the top, really, you got to be in the top 10, all right? If you're in the top 15, top 20 in America, 
hey, they might come test you just because, you know, like, they come to test somebody at your camp. But they just going to be like, well, let me get some people from you too since we're here. But they're not actually coming for you. When you're in the top 10, when you're in the top 10 in America, you can bet your bottom dollar, Jack. You can bet your bottom dollar, Jack, that they're going to show up any time of the day, Jack, and say, I want it. Trust me, it happens. It's not that far-fetched. Now, let me explain to y'all what he's saying about these whereabout forms. These whereabout forms is literally, we have to say, we have to tell them for a whole freaking, we have to be psychic, pretty much. You saw the ones, the American athlete to be psychic. They want us to tell you what we're going to be at for the next three months. I don't even know what I'm going to be at tomorrow. How do you want me to tell you what I'm going to be at in three damn months? That's what they do. So your whereabout form, they say, okay, well, tell us what time you're going to train in, in, in a month. Man, COVID might hit. I don't even know where I'm going to train in a month. But that's what they do. That's what they do. That's what they do. So we have to tell them, okay, well, in three months, I'm going to be training at this location. And I don't even know if the damn place is going to even be open. All right? So here's what happens. They want us to be psychics and tell them where we going. At the same moment, they want us to be wizards and make sure that we forgot. Oh, no. Make sure that we don't forget in two months what we told them two months ago. So now you want us to be a psychic and you want us to be a female. Women are the only ones that can really think that good. That's why most women don't fail worry about tests because they know to update them. Here's what happens with us. I did that damn whereabouts two months ago. I didn't know I was going to be going to my grandma's house today. I, I didn't know. It, they just were like, hey, your bit more turning 37. I'm sorry, my bit more ain't 37. Your bit more turning 67. You need to come home and celebrate. You know what? It's a nice weekend. I'm going to come home and celebrate. I'm going to book me a flight. I get on the plane. I fly home to Alabama. I go see my bit mom. I get a phone call and say, hey, uh -uh. we here, to, here to get to piss. Damn it! I forgot to update my whereabouts. Shit. You know what happened when we do that? We got a missed test now. <laughs> Go on. Missed test. Just like that. How was I supposed to remember, Sway? How? You want us to, you want us to, to it's just not possible, okay? So then I say, okay, you know what? You're getting paid millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. Or on the lower level, you're getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars. You should be more worried about your money. You're not. I'm going to tell you why. Because when you're on that level, you're worried about beating people. Nothing else crosses your mind. You ain't worried about no damn drug test. You're worried about none of that stuff. You're worried about beating people. You saw them. We can't keep up. Or at least that's what it was in, in, in the game. It's still that way now. I know that everybody's going to say, well, you know you could update yada, yada, yada. Man, people forget. It ain't that they be dodging tests. Is that they forget, literally. I've done it. You saw the came to me. I had to fight for my life, literally. 2010, man, John, my, my, my agent, my main man, my dupe, man, we had to fight them folks. Because them folks tried to do me the Christian Coleman way. They tried to tell me, well, we came by and you went there. Well, sir, you still supposed to let me know. You supposed to give me an hour. You didn't give me no hour. We had to fight just like Coleman had to fight. And I won, though, people. That's why I'm telling you, I know how this stuff works because I've been in, I've been in, I've been in, I've been in. Okay, now, let's switch real fast. Because what he did say is very important. It is very easy, very easy to take performance enhancement drugs and cheat by the exact same way I just told you and he just told you. Take a gamble. You just take a gamble. Like, you know what? I'm going to tell them I'm going to be in this location, but I ain't going to never be in that location. I'm going to give them this address, but I ain't going to never be at that address. So now if they hit me, if I am clean, I can pop up at that address. You feel me? Because they gave me a little warning. You see what I'm saying? That's one way of doing it. Or you just know to move around when they coming around. Okay? So it is very easy to cheat. <laughs> it ain't hard. You just got to do it in the off season. Why? Because you know in competition, they're going to be piss testing you. So what people do is they take their PEDs in the off season. In the off season. So by the time they get to the actual track season, their body has the benefits of it from the off season. So now it does not matter how you piss test them. With that being said, watch this. USADA is the DA. 
the district attorney's office. Their job is to bust American athletes for cheating. That is all they do. That's all they want to do. They don't care nothing about helping you. Their job is to bust you. Okay? Can I take another country? Man, we just throw one out there like Jamaica. I don't know. Just toss Jamaica out there. Or uh, what I've been told, because uh, I don't live in Jamaica, but I ran a lot. But what I've been told, uh, they, 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 they don't work the way I was work. Yeah, all that random stuff, they don't do that over there. Yeah, they don't do that. They're round test. Nah, they don't they don't they don't do that. Jada don't do that. that. That's just what I was told, okay? Uh let's just throw another country out there like uh, 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 uh Great Britain. Not like I was. Oh, uh, throw another one out there. Oh uh, 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 Trinidad and Tobago. Not like I was. Mm -mm. All these countries, they protect their athletes. I've heard stories, okay? Heard stories. I'm gonna say it again. Don't know if this part is factual or not, but I've heard stories of when people like water would come to certain countries, they can't come in yet because they got to scan their passports, right? Got to come through customs. I've heard certain stories that when water would come through customs, some certain camps would get a phone call saying, Bruh! hey, water's about to come through. We're going to hold them up for a little while. They're at customs. We're not going to let them come through yet. You guys do what you got to do. Clean everything up. Bruh! stories I've heard. People, don't shoot me. Don't shoot the messenger. The stories I heard, okay? Never said it. That's true. I'm just saying that what I heard So what I heard they were doing in certain countries. I heard they did it in a lot of countries, actually. They protect their athletes like that. So, the moral of the story is drugs are everywhere in our sport. Don't you think they ain't? What you need to start doing is accepting it. Stop getting mad. Stop getting mad when you find out your favorite athlete was on drugs. Duh! D duh! Shoot! Sometimes you gotta do certain things to get certain stuff done because you know other folks do the same thing to get it done. And if you can find a way to not do it and but do it but don't get caught, you gonna do it. Why? Because it's a business. It's a business. That's why I've always looked at it. Me personally, I don't want it. It's not my thing. It's not what I do. But 